Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who in heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Father, we have come into your presence to share and offer you the great sacrifice of your blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and to receive the sacrament of his most sacred body and blood. We do so in remembrance of his life, passion, death, and resurrection, and in thanksgiving for all the blessings you have bestowed upon your holy church and upon us, your unworthy sinners. We wish to offer this Mass with all the love and contrition of which we are capable of, and in conformity with the sacred intentions of our Savior who instituted it. We desire, therefore, to offer this Mass and to receive Holy Communion for your greater glory, for the continual remembrance of the sacrifice of Christ, to thank you for all the blessings that you have given us, to ask for your help with problems we have, to ask you to bless all the relatives and friends, as well as all who have died, and for our own intentions this day, namely that as we gather at the table of the Lord, on this the solemnity of the baptism of our Lord, we ask that he would hear our prayers. Lord, I ask that you would bless me through whom I will make this offering, bless all the people who are here to participate in this glorious action and all who would like to be here. Convert all sinners, preserve peace and heal the anguish of the world, and have mercy on all the faithful departed. All these things we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now let us turn unto the altar of God and make a confession of our sins. And now let us recite the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. He showed pity to the needy and the poor, and saves the lives of the poor. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, 
We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you manifested the glorious divinity of your Son Jesus at his baptism in the River Jordan. May the brightness of his presence shine in our hearts, and may his glory be set forth in our lives. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Old Testament book of Isaiah the prophet. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the streets. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of peace. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. This is the word of the Lord. Speak to God. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. The second reading for today is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened over all Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The sea beheld and fled. The Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams and bills like lambs of the flock. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen.
The Lord be with you and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, o Lord. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me? Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray on this, the solemnity of the baptism of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us offer the intentions and the responses, Lord, hear our prayer. Today, we pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day for peace in our world that people may come together and live peacefully as our blessed Lord taught following his baptism. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces. And we pray that God would watch over all of them and protect them by his holy angels. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day most humbly for all abused and neglected children in our world, for all abused and neglected animals, and for all victims of violence, both here and abroad, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day for the Polish National Catholic Church. We pray for our parish, holy name of Jesus, that God would bless all our congregants, as well as all their loved ones, friends, and family. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Are you unaware that we were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become for us our spiritual drink. O Lord God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come Holy Spirit and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your most holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they then, whose memories we honor here on earth, intercede for us in heaven. Through the same Christ our Lord, we pray this day. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and for that of his holy church. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, you presented your beloved Son to the world at the River Jordan. May we who bring you these offerings now walk in the newness of life. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Though the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, a powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. For today we celebrate the triune revelation. He was revealed to the Magi from the East. While yet a child, he was worshipped. He was revealed to all people at his baptism in the River Jordan. You Father and the Holy Spirit giving witness to his divinity. He revealed himself to his apostles in Cana of Galilee by changing water into wine and manifested the power of God through his ministry. Therefore, on the solemnity of his baptism, we join with the voices of angels and dark angels with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating very humbly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will. He gave for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, 
to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread. He gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth, so that we might praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless is it to know the participation in the blood of Christ. The bread which we break is it to know the participation in the body of Christ. Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And I'll start with you. And now let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be unto you. And I'll start with you. And now, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Let us pray together the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen.
May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve your soul unto life everlasting. Amen. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve your soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Lord, may we possess with pure hearts that which we have taken as food, and may the gifts we have received this day bring us healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. Can you drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, grant that we, who have been baptized into Christ and nourished by this Eucharist, may rejoice as children of God and servants of all. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be felt by all of you in this new year. Thanks be to God. Let us go forth this day and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of our late departed brothers and sisters in the faith, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.